On today's show, Tesla unveils the Model Y and promises that it will enter into production next year. Volkswagen gets ready to open up the order books for the ID squared in early May with a price tag of under 30,000 euro in Europe. And Volvo launches its first ever fully autonomous 12 meter electric bus. These stories and more coming next. This is Ecotricity's Ecotech Roundup show from New Zealand's only carbon zero certified renewable electricity company. We are 100% Kiwi and 50% community owned. Switch today at ecotricity.co.nz. Hi there, folks. We've got a lot of stuff to cover on today's show. But before that, I'd like to take a moment on behalf of the entire team here at Ecotricity to send our love and thoughts to everyone affected by the horrific acts of violence in Christchurch earlier this week. You are not alone and the whole country stands beside you. We start today's show with a Thursday night reveal in California of the Model Y, Tesla's fourth and final instalment of the S3XY sexy quartet of electric cars. Based on the Model 3 platform, Model Y truly is a crossover between the Model 3 and Model X, with seating for five or seven, a really impressive 1.3 cubic meters of luggage space, and a drag coefficient of 0.23. Model Y will be sold with standard and long range battery pack options, as well as a long range dual motor and a dual motor performance variant. Prices will range from 39,000 US dollars for the Model Y standard range, all the way up to 60,000 US dollars for the dual motor performance model with standard range Model Y due to go on sale Q2 2021 and other variants on sale in fall 2020. When it launched, the Jaguar I-PACE was marketed with a 100 kilowatt capable CCS quick charging system. But due to some compatibility issues with quick charging stations around the world, was limited to between 75 and 80 kilowatts on average. Jaguar has now begun to lift that restriction with a new software update that unlocks full 100 kilowatt DC quick charging. The update is being rolled out to customers' cars through a quick visit to the dealership and speeds up the first bit of charging from around 10% state of charge to 40% state of charge at compatible 100 kilowatt CCS quick charging stations. A Volkswagen AG, not to be confused with its passenger car brand Volkswagen, has officially revised its goals for electric car production over the next 10 years, shifting from its previous goal of 15 million electric cars across its various brands to 22 million plug-in cars in the next 10 years. The announcement was made at the company's official annual news conference, where Volkswagen AG reported a net profit increase of 6% for 2018 to 12.2 billion euro. Volkswagen AG says that it aims to also reduce its carbon footprint for all of its vehicles over their lifetime by 30%, in addition to making all of those new electric models. Karma, the company founded out of the demise of the original Fisker Karma, which has been working to bring a new lineup of plug-in cars to market, has announced that it will be relaunching the brand at the Shanghai Auto Show this year with a trio of models. It's been working with Pininfarina on a brand new model, which will debut in Shanghai as a production vehicle, most likely an SUV, along with an all new, all electric concept car called the Karma Vision. They will share the stand with the Karma Rivero plug-in hybrid, the car that was formerly known as the Fisker Karma in a former life. General Motors Autonomous Car Division Cruise has announced a hiring drive this week with plans to hire more than 1,000 additional staff over the next nine months. It will effectively double the size of the cruise workforce and is all in order to help GM become the first company to launch a fully autonomous robot taxi service in America by the end of this year. Cruise is currently testing a fleet of fully autonomous Chevrolet Bolt EV electric cars on the streets of San Francisco, complete with a team of trained backup drivers behind the wheel. But eventually, it hopes to ditch the steering wheel completely, as well as those backup controls. Volvo's luxury performance brand Polestar has been in the news recently, thanks to the unveiling of its high-end Polestar 2 electric car, as well as promising an all-electric SUV called the Polestar 3 in the not-too-distant future. But this week, Polestar's CEO confirmed to the Financial Times the Polestar plugins may not go on sale in the US if they are subjected to tariffs on Chinese exports. That's not only because Volvo and thus Polestar is owned by Chinese automaker Geely, but because the Polestar 2 will be made in China. He's hoping the US-Chinese trade war ends very soon. 
After a whole host of financial woes which saw it lay off most of its staff and scupper plans to build a production facility north of Las Vegas, Nevada, Faraday Future is now officially selling off the land it had originally hoped to build said factory on. Faraday Future purchased the land back in 2015, and it had intended to construct a fantastic dedicated electric vehicle production facility there, with official production of vehicles due to start by 2018 or 2019. Uh, but the lack of funds and continuing questions about its future means it's hoping to raise some much needed money from the sale of that land that it can no longer build on. Volkswagen has confirmed that the production version of its first long-range electric car, the 2019 Volkswagen ID Squared, will be officially unveiled at the Frankfurt International Motor Show in September this year. It will have an expected starting price of around €30,000. However, if you want to get one and you happen to be in its launch market of Europe, you may want to get your hand raised before then, because Volkswagen says that it thinks that the launch edition of the ID Squared will sell out long before the official reveal. Order books open on May 8th in Europe, but it's not clear yet if we'll see it make it to Kiwi shores. When I know, I'll certainly share. While autumn is almost upon us, we think there's still a little bit of time to explore before the weather starts to turn. And we can't think of any better way than spending a crafty weekend enjoying the dog days of summer in a zero emission camper van. So you'll be pleased to know that there is just such a vehicle available for you all to book right now. The Brits Evolve, a 100% all electric motorhome that can travel up to 120 kilometers per charge, easily refuel overnight, and comes with absolutely everything you'd expect from a modern camper. Brits Camper Vans has evolved motorhomes for you to book right now on both the North and South Island and have created bespoke EV-friendly itineraries for your perfect getaway. And if you're worried about charging on your holiday, you shouldn't be. 26 Kiwi holiday parks have 56 charging stations between them, so you can plug in and charge while you chill, ready for another day of fun when you're ready to hit the road. Follow the link below to book your getaway today. Following their collaboration on a joint mobility platform, BMW and Daimler are now apparently in talks to see if they could work together on a shared electric vehicle platform. The rumour comes from two different German language publications which state that the talks are focusing on developing joint electric platforms for compact and mid-size models. Given that the two companies already work closely together on other projects, it's certainly a possibility, but reports reiterate that nothing concrete has been agreed yet. Following the recent tweak to the range of the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which saw Tesla increase range quotes by 15 miles per charge, Tesla has begun to push a new software update to existing Model 3 Long Range vehicles. The update doesn't appear to be blanket yet and is a little sporadic in its rolling out, so it may be being gradually rolled out. But Tesla says the new firmware update for the Model 3 Long Range represents some tweaks to the battery management system that allows it to take out a little more energy safely from the battery pack than it first thought was possible. And Finally, Volvo's all-electric bus range isn't exactly a new thing. In fact, Volvo has been making all-electric full-size buses now for some time, and we've been covering them quite extensively on this channel. But it's just revealed a new type of 12-meter, 93-seat electric bus that's not only zero emissions, but fully autonomous too. Designed in collaboration with the Singaporean University and Nanyang Technical University, or NTU for short, the bus, or buses, because there are actually two prototypes, are being put through their paces. You can see them driving around the university campus and en route from a local bus depot. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, tell your friends about the show. And if you've got some feedback, well, you know where to send it, to us. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a single episode. And while you're at it, why not switch to New Zealand's only carbon zero certified renewable electricity company? Go on, join our growing customer base and say goodbye to carbon emissions for good. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield. Kakite. See you next time.